Quick revision video on AS organic conversions. So all I'm going to do is work my way through this table. So how do you go from a particular functional group to the one in italics in column two of the table? So alkanes to haloalkane, you would react it with a halogen in the presence of UV light. Alkene to alkane, you react the alkene with hydrogen with a nickel catalyst and a temperature of 150 degrees C. Alkene to alcohol, you react it with steam, so gaseous water, with an acid catalyst, so you could use H3PO4 phosphoric acid, and the temperature to create the steam must be greater than 100 degrees C. Alkene to haloalkane, you would react it with a hydrogen halide, so something like hydrogen chloride, hydrogen bromide. To turn an alkene into a dihaloalkane, you would react it with a halogen, so chlorine, bromine. And if you do use bromine, remember that the bromine would be decolorized, and that's the test for an alkene, a carbon-carbon double bond. So alcohol to haloalkane, you react it with a sodium halide, so it could be sodium chloride, sodium bromide, with sulfuric acid, and you would need to reflux. Alcohol to alkene, you react the alcohol with an acid catalyst, so you could use phosphoric acid or sulfuric acid, and you would need to reflux that. Alcohol to aldehyde, so you need to use a primary alcohol, and you would use acidified dichromate ions, and the acid would be sulfuric acid, and I've colored in the dichromate ion orange because it is orange, and if you remember the color change associated with that reaction is orange to green, and you would heat all of that under distillation. If you want to make an alcohol into a carboxylic acid, you still would use a primary alcohol, acidified dichromate ions again, but this time you would have reflux heating. So basically your condenser now would be in a vertical position as opposed to on a slant, as in distillation. For an alcohol to be turned into a ketone, well you need to use a secondary alcohol, but it's the same reagent, you've got acidified dichromate ions, and the best way to heat it is under reflux because that ensures all of the alcohol is converted to the ketone. And finally, a haloalkane to an alcohol, you would react that with aqueous alkali, so something like aqueous sodium hydroxide or aqueous potassium hydroxide, and you would heat that under reflux.